which you look up there, there wasn't one budgeted originally, so it would uh, bring them back utility worker one. And I did not increase the budget at all to do that. I shifted dollars within the budget. Okay, so it's paying for itself. I didn't take money from anywhere else. So the fund is doing its job. Uh, so that's what all those lines are representing overall. Is where if you look into MS on your document, you'll see where I reduce some of the lines down below. So you see where it says 40,000 on line 20? Okay, and then if you look at your line 20 on your document, it says 35,000. So that's what I did. I shifted some of the allocations from MNS up to uh, personal services. Now another thing I want everyone to realize is when you look at police, uh, EMS or any of those funds, they're real heavy on the uh, personnel side and lower on the MS. But with your enterprise funds, water, sewer, streets, it's the other way around. They're lighter on top, heavier on the MS because of the expenses. Their expenses are a lot higher than the other departments on the materials and services. And you will see that on the contingency line, it was 7,000 is a change. If you look at your document, the contingency line is 396, 123 on your document that you have. So basically that fund is pretty helpful. Go to my favorite fund. Let me see. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> Emergency services. Okay, if you look at your document, available cash on hand, you're going to see a negative <coughs> 253937. Okay. And that's what I've been chipping away at. Okay, is that negative balance. It wouldn't do it, well, that one wouldn't do brackets, but it did the minus sign of it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we get the last three right now that we were three hundred sixty five thousand? Oh we're more than that. <laughs> we're we we're, I don't know what no, 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 we're at seven and we're now we now I, now we are down to about three sixty five, so yeah. That's so, so what is the two percent? That's that's part of the that's, no, that's a real number. It was spent, but the problem was what happened was when we went through the drill of of uh, going down to three people, they upped the wages on the folks, and they were due the money, but no one allocated any money to do that. So the money was spent. You went into the hole, okay, and that's what you see here, is the hole, all right? And so now, uh, we as a body and the community, we got to now dig ourselves out. And that's why we're here right now, working towards digging, digging ourselves out of that hole. But the plus is, as we go through this fund, you'll see that it's actually in better shape than what it, what it started. Right? So once we go through it, you'll be able to see that. So, Basically, I, what I'm showing you is I did increase the annual service charge, okay, that would be ride four. And the reason I did that is uh, right now the uh, annual service is about 50000 to the good, okay, from where they've ever been. So, yes, yes, I, I, that's what I said. That's why I'm so upset about this negative fund balance. This would have been the year for them to finish in the black, okay? All right, by at least 60, 70,000. So what I did is I upped that, uh, that they would bring in an additional 25,000, which I'm pretty confident. So by month seven, they were averaging about 36,000 a month coming in. 
okay, which they're budgeted to bring in twenty-seven thousand. So I'm confident they'll make the three fifty and then some. And any of the and any of the dense sums will go towards their negative fund balance, of course. Uh, under miscellaneous income, you will see that we uh, up that by twenty two thousand four so twenty three thousand four sixty and that was money that Tim can you enlighten it? That was the Forest Service contract for providing an ambulance and personnel. Ten of that paid the personnel that did the standby. Do uh, you want me to tell them what went? Yeah. Okay. And it, ten went back way. into the overtime budget to kind of balance it out because we've had a man out on uh, yeah, kidney transplant. And so he's, we're working someone back for him. And that ten thousand went in to cover that that piece where he's being covered by someone else. We were able to hire a part time employee to do that. And then the four the two four sixty or twenty three four sixty, three thousand four hundred and sixty dollars went into the radio fund, uh, because as you know we changed over our radio equipment in mass this year and that was quite expensive. <coughs> So that's the entire seventy-seven thousand for the four series. No, 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 no. Twenty-three four sixty. Twenty-three four. Where the rest come from? Uh, that's uh, fifty if, of it is is the donor money. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. that that'll cover the cost of the fourth person. The fourth person. Okay. Um, and of course, one hundred sixty thousand on line ten is the uh, donor money for <coughs> for the payment of the annuals. So, so you got to have it budgeted, you know. Uh, and then you'll see under transfers, um, that's where I was able to, uh, I upped it by $70,308, okay. And again, that's where I got like the $35,000 for franchise fee and, and some other transfers so that I could try again, knock the deficit down. Transfer to agency fund is fifty thousand. That fifty thousand was what was supposed to have been put away for an ambulance way back way. Okay, that's what that is. And but you know, I'd love to, I'd love to save it, but I can't. We can't save it, right? We've got to get this deficit down. Okay. Just for clarification, he did establish a reserve fund. Right. He couldn't take it if, in fact, we had done that and put the money in. The money that we did get put in. Well, that's why it's still an agency reserve. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, so it wasn't a real reserve. Yeah, that's what he said. Right. Um, <laughs> that one wasn't a real reserve fund. <laughs> that's has, why we were... It never has a <laughs> Right. It's what we call a slush fund. Yeah, so... <laughs> so, that, so that's why we're able to... That's why we're able to move it. Otherwise, we couldn't do this. What well, we could, we'd have to do another resolution. But. Uh, the safer ground here, which one is it now? That one is the recruitment and the recruitment retention. And retention. Yep. The yes. other one that you were recently talking about is a different one. That is Correct. a new one. And that will be in the next one. Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's move. Unless you want to do a supplemental to the supplemental. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Now that you got the hang of them, you try to do that. Okay. <laughs> No, 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 I mean this. I was on man and this, not you guys. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. That's oh, that's good. <laughs> We're finishing up. Uh, okay, let's, one more. One more. Okay, it's personal services. What's this? Oh, one more. One more. All right. This is the big part. So th that's where you'll see where Tim just mentioned we put ten thousand in the volunteer line to to cover those employees for that forest service job. Uh, the ten thousand that we're talking about in line fifteen under overtime. That's where the ten thousand dollar increase 
came in to cover the part time person. That's the only other place we can hire somebody out of because we don't have a line item for another employee. So that's it, it makes sense to put it in there. It's not technically overtime, but it is overtime. All right, materials and services. That line, that's the radio line that, uh, that uh, Tim was talking about that he had to increase. Uh, And here you'll see that in the budget, we didn't budget any money for the ambulance on the 1213 budget. And you'll see on your copy the 160000 Okay, And then you'll see on the transfer to uh, unemployment, on your copy it's a zero. Like that. <coughs> Someone just said all of that is hitting under ad <coughs> administration. Uh, and then if you look at the bottom of your document that you have, you will see unappropriated ending fund balance of 98629 Now, if somebody would like to write a check for that and get them cleaned up, I can start working on the other one. Okay. So, but I, actually, that 98 as ugly as it may look, it is not as ugly as over 300000 okay. So that took a lot of work from the team over here to my right to get that, to get that there. So are we like doing a running total? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not keeping running total. Are we doing a running total like it's 291200 plus 98,000 Yeah, I can give you, an, I, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be able to give you a, a, a total number, yes. Okay, is, that, is that the way this is working? Well, yes, you total up all the general fund first, and then you can total up all the other funds and come out with the number. <coughs> that number was seven million and some change. Is what your total supplemental budget would be. Uh, but it doesn't get rid of it. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, that, that's what I'd like. To but say. yes. Well. Well, well, because those are two separate funds. Okay. All right. <coughs> that, that's not, and those particular funds are not going to quite work like that. So for example, and you'll notice that in the EMS, if you go back a couple of pages on your document there, Les, you'll see that it has uh, You'll see that you'll see it where it says your resources, your resource description. Okay, uh, it separates this, but it's separated out from. It'll be this one.
Okay, reserve fund. Okay, this is the reserve fund that was established. What's up on the screen that Jerry was talking about, but there was no transfers ever made to it. So, but if you look in your, but if you look in your packet, that you're going to see one that says equipment reserve fund. Do you see? Are you guys at that one? That page? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's the donor money. That's sixteen thousand dollars of the donor money that we want to set aside for major equipment repairs, primarily the engines. It could be other things, but to do with EMS. Now this is one you'll notice is an official reserve fund that has an established date and resolution in the upper left hand corner. Mm -hmm. And it's got the length of time that the fund will be in effect unless used in the upper right hand corner. And then you'll see another one, which is not up there, so disregard what's up on the screen. You'll see what says fourth paramedic, so it looks like I've got a, on the left, Jerry, I'm going to have to clean that up and put the correct dates. Okay. When did we do that? that the other one, the uh, one original one? No, this one here. We haven't done them yet. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So I've, I've got to clean up the template on the left side and put the correct dates in. So we just need a resolution then for this one. Yes. Yeah, so the fourth, that's what you have in your packet is for $150,000, that's the donor money, and to be placed in a reserve fund, a true reserve fund, okay, so that it's spent where it's supposed to be spent, okay. And from the accounting side, that's a lot of extra work for them, but I believe from the standpoint of, of uh, transparency and accountability, it's best to do it this way as a reserve fund. So, all right. 911. As you will see up on the screen, nothing there. But if you look at your document, okay, you will see that there's a 25,285 in a bracket, and then not, and then 25,285. Basically, it zeroes itself out, and we had to eat that 25,000 negative thumb balance in so basically we zeroed this out and we ate it in a general fund. That's another tough decision that you guys are looking at here is there, there were several funds hanging out out there with these deficit balances on employment parts. This is another one. And what Louis has decided to do is just say, okay, now's the time. Now's the time to deal with these things and, and bite the bullet. So that's part of the reason why general fund looks the way it does right now is because he's taking care of some of these things that really need to be taken care of. Can I have this bill stay there for another two years, all right? Pardon? So it still stays there for another two years, right? That'll be a document. <coughs> I mean, it only it, it, it stays long enough to be a second proceeding historically here on the budget. Yeah, it'll come off of the financial statements, but it's still be on the budget document. Right. Yeah. Okay, which still replacement fund on our budget? We had zero. <coughs> and, and, you know, what audits do is they find all the money that you're supposed to have or not have. And so there's $8,696 in your which still replacement fund. So that's new. So it's just a nice thing to have. Yeah. <coughs> All right, <laughs> the infamous agency fund, which the mayor calls the slush fund. <coughs> so anyway, uh, if you look up on the screen, uh, there was very little money uh, put into that for transfers and those kind of things, okay? If you look at your document, it has a beginning fund balance of 95,240. As you can see, we didn't have any beginning fund balance on our budget when we built it. Uh, and then what we did, if you look to the transfers, expenditures transfers, that's where 50,000 transfers to the EMS fund. When you look at the EMS fund, you saw transfer from agency fund. This is where it came from. Okay. Uh, transfer to general fund to 35308, is that Number sound for those three hundred and seventy dollars and three oh eight, okay. So basically it went to the general fund and then transferred to 
But it would be transferred to the EMS fund. So, let me ask you a question, man. This, this also has to stick around for another couple of years, but we don't get any resources in this fund, right? Other than what we transfer in ourselves. Correct. So, if we were to, over time, close this fund out, are we missing anything? We actually had that conversation today because we were initially looking at zeroing out the fund in its entirety. But there was one one piece that we talked about that really does need some special attention and some special tracking, and that's the gas tax money that's used for was it bicycle paths or something? Head and, head and bike paths. And if you look at the con contingency in this thing, it's at 11,932 mm -hmm. down there. Yeah. Uh, that's for, uh, that's money that's been collected over the past three, four years. And it was at 9,932, and uh, we had a 2,000 this year. So we think it's better than the state uh, gas tax. That's correct. Uh, under ORS, you're supposed to take the property. have to have it in this fund, can we have it in a different place? You can't have it in a different place. You just have to make sure that you're tracking it somehow. Well, I would recommend it that we, when you do the budget, that we figure out a way to keep the gas tax. Put it in some other street fund or something like that for more that can be more appropriate. And, and then over time, zero this fund out altogether. And well, and we're kicking that around there. We're just mm -hmm. not quite sure how we're going to do it because. Well, we're going to have to put three more, two more years in, no matter what you do. Right. I mean, and, and so yeah, we, we've had, we had the conversation earlier. We're just not quite sure where we want to put it, but yeah, we had the conversation. Sure. The main thing is making sure we have this track. Right. It's such a little fun. Well, you just so put it on a, a, a some sort of a barn. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at those options, especially when we go through the next budget process. All right. Let's see. All right. If you look up on the screen under uh, water bond fund, you'll see that there's $10. <laughs> okay. It's what we budgeted. Nothing across the top. Well, uh, we have a beginning fund balance of 126.83. So now, question is okay. Where does this come from? Well, this was required when we took out the loan. Okay, so you had to have 120,000 in reserve. Okay, all right. So that that's where this came from. Okay. And the bond document says you have to keep that set aside for the until you bring it. Mm -hmm. so it's been That's why I have it continues. Yeah, it's just going to keep rolling. Yeah, it's going to keep rolling. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Okay, look at the industrial part. I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, you will see that they be. We had a beginning fund balance of two hundred thousand. Okay, that's what we budgeted. Okay. Well, once Summer went through and did all her again looking for money and finding deficits, we ended up having a hundred fifty-five thousand dollars deficit in the OIG. <laughs> okay. So, so that's why you see such a huge beginning fund balance there. Okay. And the actual beginning fund balance was actually 172, and that 200. So, uh, if you look, at, if you subtract, add 155 to that 17, 134, it's going to be pretty close to the 172. So, however, surprisingly, the fund is still holding its own. Okay, uh, so uh, that surprised me that after that big of a hit, it's still holding its own, as you can see. Uh, on the second page, uh, <coughs> 83,733 is what's actually coming in under resources. And we've already paid the OIP, uh, our OIP debt service, which is on this next page. Uh, this uh, okay, you see where it says uh, OIPDQ grant? Okay.